Okay. Ali, it's good to have you on here. I know you Thank operate mainly in Oakville, Mississauga, um, and you're pretty much in the Halton, Halton region. So mm -hmm. tell us, what have you been seeing in the past couple of months towards the end of 2021? Well, that's a great question. You know, in the November, December is supposed to be a slightly slower month, right? People are getting ready for the holidays, they go on vacations and things like this. So we do see less listings, less inventory, uh, and at the same time, less buyers. But this year, um, we're definitely seeing less listings and lower inventory. We're not seeing less buyers. I still see a ton of buyers out, out there and they're very active looking. So yeah, I mean, the, the the last few homes that I went to visit is just back to back and there are people waiting on the driveway. It's it's incredible. It's been a busy couple of months for sure. Now the waiting on the driveway, is that due to the bidding that's going on? Yeah, I guess, you know, it's a bit of... Um, it's a bit of everything really. It's, you know, there's not enough homes on the market for sale and the buyers are still out there. Um, and at the same time, because of the pandemic, right? We're, we're not allowing overlapping showings. So there's only like half an hour per showing and each time there's only one group allowed at the home. So then it, it's, you know, there, you can only divide a whole day into how many showings, right? So it's, it's very busy. Like a lot of times homes are booked up like 100% of the day. It's incredible. Have you seen any differences let's say in the past half year or the past year that will be here to stay come 2022 depends a lot on a lot of factors um we are definitely observing like lower inventory in the last it, it's not just the last six months or a year it's actually we've been having low inventory level for the last few years and um, whereas people wanted to move like, you know, from the city to suburbs and from townhouses to detach from condos to townhouses, the, the need to move is still there. I still see the market being really in demand. Um, at the end of the day, you know, uh, we have a lot of people who want to move into the area and um, there's not a lot of home being built. You find uh, there's more upsizing or downsizing these days? I would say just from my personal like, you know, what I observe on the market. Um, I, I work with a lot of families uh, who are moving to a bigger place. So I do see more upsizing going on. Uh, but at the same time, for every bigger home that is sold, somebody is either moving to another bigger place or a smaller place. So I'm sure there is, a, there is also enough downsizing going on as well. Right. So limited supply does affect both uh, parties involved, those yeah. upsizing and those downsizing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really affecting everyone. How do you think 2022 is going to look, given supply being, uh, being so limited? Will things change? Will prices rise? Will we see more people coming into the market? Will it slow down? Because it's going to get colder, that's for sure. It's been too warm. Yeah. I don't know if the weather being colder is going to help with cooling down the real estate market, to be honest. Um, I mean, we do know there are a lot of people who are still waiting to get into the country, like who got their PR card or, or waiting. And there's a lot of people like they're also they're waiting to get their PR card. Right. So the demand will be there to me. Like, it's not really a matter of like, is the market going up or down in 2020 is how much the market is going to appreciate. We're hoping we have a smooth 2022, like more of a stable market. Right. We're, we're not really looking to see like market appreciate like 50% every year. It's not really good for anyone. It's not sustainable. Going forward, I say it's, it's precautious for those who are capable of getting into the market to go ahead and do it. Uh, there are ways. I find that uh, one of the most serious challenges people have is not knowing what's available to them, and especially first time home buyers. They believe that if they have a limited down payment amount, uh, they have to wait until they save that money. But uh, by the by June of next year, it might actually be too too late to get into the market with the uh, current conditions. Those conditions will have changed. If mortgage interest rates are going to rise, then uh, they will have felt as though they've missed the, their train, they've missed their opportunity. Yeah. And as you've seen in the past couple of years, the fear of missing out has brought so many people to the market that it's surprising that uh, real estate has become a, a table topic. For you and I, obviously, since it's our profession, um, it's normal, but to hear people talk about it, walking down the street, getting a coffee. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's a different feeling. <laughs> that is, that's absolutely a good point. Like I haven't been to a social gathering um, this year where, where where real estate was not, you know, like not a topic. Everyone is interested, like especially seeing like their neighbor's home sold for so much more and and right. things like that. Like it's it's 
yeah, it's really interesting. Now I have a question for you, actually, Eddie. Sure. Um, so, I mean, you work with a lot of first time buyers and a lot of people who are moving uh, upsizing and downsizing. Yes. Um, so what would be your suggestion for people who are looking into a home ownership uh, in 2022? I find that when it comes to owning a home, there's much misinformation online. Everyone's case is different as you might have encountered with your clients, right? Every client has different preferences, although you might be able to categorize them. Uh, the specificities are different from family to family or from borrower to borrower. Same for us. What I recommend is stay informed. It's one thing I like to uh, make a note of on every post I have online because staying informed is so important, especially these days as we're uh, in the information age and finding relevant information is very, very difficult. I 100% agree. Like there are so many um, like articles and news reports and everything else, like generalized information out there. And is you know, people are getting bombarded with information, like, but it's not really customized to any one specific like need. There are plenty of resources available to people, but working to working with a professional, someone like you when it comes to real estate and someone like me when it comes to mortgages, that's already having a foot in the door of achieving your plan because you have someone working alongside you to get you where you want to be. I agree with you. Like to work with someone who know what they're doing in either mortgage or real estate is it makes a night and day difference, really. They right. need a customized right. suggestion. Yeah, well said. And I find that um, by reading, reading and watching videos online and missing out on that human connection, we actually don't realize that other people are going through the exact same emotions as we are. For example, I remember what it was like to rent. It's difficult to make that step and it's challenging and it does lift you up into a level of new responsibility. But at the same time, with great responsibility comes great reward. If you mm -hmm. do know how to budget, if you are frugal, if you know how to take care of your money so that you make it work for you rather than you working for the money, then there's, um, it's, it's a whole different world, right? It's as though your life changes for the better. And uh, you got to make sure you have the right people, the right team you're working with in order for that to come to full fruition for you to feel as though, yes, I'm living the life I want to live.